So after finding my way into the golf course and setting up my chair, I was all ready to start plein air painting. It was going to be a learning experience, and I knew that from the get-go. However, before I could get started, I had an unexpected visitor. Hi. How are you doing? I'm bad at yourself. I'm doing quite well. Are you bird watching? No, I'm going to be painting. Oh. Ooh. What are you going to paint? Uh, I haven't decided. That birdhouse is nice. But, I mean, I do like the lighting on the snow as well. Very nice. Cool. Thank you. You might even get a chance to paint a coyote if he comes by. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> I have seen some around here, but none today yet. After that lovely little conversation, I got to painting, and I did not see any coyotes this day, which was quite sad, as I was hoping to actually get to paint one, but alas, it is what it is. There were some squirrels and some bunnies, and uh, I mean, maybe it was a good thing I didn't see a coyote, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, after painting for a bit, this is what I came up with. Alrighty, so I know this isn't much, but... I'm just trying to understand the colors, how to mix. I mean, I haven't done a whole lot of tube watercolor painting. I mean, this is pan watercolors, but I'm still a little unfamiliar. So just, this is what I'm thinking of painting here. It's got a nice little birdhouse, but I also really like how the snow and the sun interact over there. So I might flip my chair around later, but just so you guys know how I'm using the setup, I have some little powerful magnets there and a bulldog clip, I think those are called. And then you just snap that on there. It's really sturdy. The sponge is keeping the, the watercolors in place really well. I haven't used this for mixing yet. I've been using the page, but it's been, it's been going good so far. So we're gonna keep on going. Okay, so we've moved camp. We're gonna paint this, get rid of the man-made signs. I just really like the lighting on the snow and the shadows. And yeah, it's a beautiful day, so let's get to some painting. After drawing a few little thumbnails on my sketchbook page, I uh, hopped into coloring just to get a feel for the different uh, color palettes I had, whether I liked the warmer, cool ones, and to try and understand the lighting a little bit better. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Um, I have decided that I am not a fan of the cool color palette with the, I think, cobalt blue and carmine red and uh, medium yellow. It just, like, if you see here, this is that blue and this is phthalo blue. Phthalo is just way nicer. Um, maybe in certain situations I'd want a cooler color palette, but not right now. Uh, I definitely overworked this paper, but I am going to try the little watercolor set right now and see what I can do with that. Uh, and I'll fill this one and that one with the minimalist one. All right, check back with you then. Working with the tiny little palette was much more enjoyable than I anticipated. Uh, the burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and phthalo blue, along with the white, allowed me to get a wide range of colors. And using the sponge and diluting them uh, really gave me a lot of opportunity to paint the picture the way that I wanted to. So uh, I ended up actually going with them for the final piece and I just really, really like it. It's fantastic. So after finishing up day one, I head back home. We're heading out for day two. It's a lot colder today. So we'll see how long we last, but I hope to get two paintings done. So unfortunately, it is too cold today and my watercolors are freezing onto the page. So looks like it's not gonna be a watercolor day today. We will come back tomorrow. It is morning of day three and we're heading out. It's a lot warmer today, so I feel like we're gonna have a good time painting. So let's do it. 
So I started off on day three. It was in fact much nicer and allowed me to finish all my paintings that I wanted to get done. I started off with a smaller watercolor study and I just was really enjoying myself. It was sunny, uh, there was animals jumping around, having a good time. And I think this is why people play their paint. They just get to enjoy nature and do art. Okay, so I just finished this rough watercolor sketch and now we are going to move on to a more polished one. This was just figuring out colors and uh, my process. So now that we got that a little more figured out, let's move on. Unfortunately, I forgot to record a time lapse for the final piece I thought I did, but turns out I didn't hit record. So that was rather frustrating, but here it is. I did it all with the little tin and here was the landscape I was painting. So I'm gonna take this painting back to my room. I'll do some watercolor pencils over it probably and some inking as well. And I'll check back with you guys with the finished product and some final thoughts. In the end, I didn't end up adding too much to the piece. I did a little bit of watercolor pencils, but not a whole lot. Just because I wasn't really liking how it was looking, I did a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see on the backs of the trees there just to add some more intense shadows. But overall, I didn't think it would have helped the piece if I did any more. And also inking, I don't think it would have helped it either. So this is the finished piece. I really enjoyed uh, plein air painting using these little Bob Ross mint tin portable palettes. If you didn't see me make them, you can go check that video out up here and make some of your own. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I, I really like using them, so I hope you do too. Uh, so that was my plein air painting adventure. I hope you guys go out and check out nature. It's pretty sweet. And paint some paintings of your own. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.